school, UALR has been on the front lines in the national movement to reinvent urban campuses into solid metropolitan universities. Students are drawn to UALR by a diverse range of programs with degrees in such fields as education, nursing, and business to communications and applied design. With a student-faculty ratio of 14 to 1, UALR offers a full range of undergraduate majors, 38 master's degrees, law degrees, and six doctoral degrees. UALR faculty are pioneers in a wide range of research areas, staying on the forefront of innovations in their own fields. Nowhere is this more evident than in the Arkansas Nanotechnology Center, located on UALR's campus. Better materials, stronger materials, uh, plastics that conduct electricity. Scientists like Dr. Alex Beerus are manipulating objects many times smaller than a human hair to create devices that promise to create whole new industries for Central Arkansas. And in Beerus's case, develop new technologies to fight deadly diseases such as cervical cancer. In recent nanotechnology studies, UALR scientists injected cancer cells with tiny magnetic particles, heating them with low radio frequency radiation and successfully killing 98% of the cancerous cells. What we are doing, we are designing some new type of nanomaterials that can interact extremely strong with uh, some of these cancer cells. So basically, we are, uh, what we want to achieve is to have this special type of nanomaterials uh, delivered only to the cancer cells. And then by uh, exciting them with electromagnetic radiation to have this Cancers, uh, cancer cells killed from within. Right now we have some of the most significant instruments that help us in this research. We, are, we have uh, microscopes that allow us to see not just at the nanoscale but almost at the atomic level. I think it is crucial that uh, we have instruments like these in the state and then we do share with other universities. Um, we have many visitors um, coming over. Not only uh, universities, but the industry people come and uh, we do serve them. Students in the Nanotechnology Center are excited about the cutting-edge research being done here. Inkalita Dervishi is from Albania. She came to the United States as a foreign exchange student and is now working on her PhD. It's such amazing science to get into and it impacts every part of our life, you know, so many different applications and you can get just, you know, excited about it, you know, and just these particles are so amazing because of their properties, so the opportunities are limitless, so it makes you want to come, you know, to school every day and try to, you know, study all the time and it's just like, wow, cool. And Research is also at the forefront of UALR's Donaghy College of Engineering and Information Technology. The college was formed in 1998 and has quickly emerged as Arkansas's leading institution for training students in a technologically driven economy. At EIT, they're working on real-world solutions to deal with problems facing those who keep our bridges and infrastructure safe. They developed MIMS, microelectrical mechanical systems, with the help of what is known as a clean room. It has to be done in a clean environment because otherwise you'll get dust particles, hair particles, anything that you breathe in, which, you know, it doesn't bother you as a person because you're, you're used to it, but our devices, um, they work best if they're absolutely clean and there's, there's no dust particles or, or anything like that. EIT is home to UALR's virtual reality center, including Ray, a reconfigurable advanced visualization environment that projects 3D images. Today, the rave is loaded with images from the school's new EIT building under construction on UALR's campus. It allows us to visualize things in different ways, uh, maybe gain new insight into certain uh, data applications, like uh, visualizing, uh, like you saw in the EIT building, or visualizing other architectural designs, or uh, doing some more scientific applications, like uh, seeing the humidity and the uh, wind patterns over the you know, Gulf Stream or something like that. If you're still not convinced what a great school UALR is, just take a look at what students are saying about the UALR experience. You can hear from students and read their comments about the fun and exciting campus lifestyle by logging onto the website. Plus, you can find out how to apply for admission at UALR. There's also information on the website about applying for financial aid and scholarships. Lots of people think there's some secret process to getting financial help, but really it's all about knowing what financial help is available and meeting the deadlines for applications.